What's up, everyone? It's Courtney from Coyote Ugly Satellite Bar, your illustrious coyote of the internet. And today I am here with Cynthia, coyote of the month for the month of June. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? Hello. How are you today? Good, good. Thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on winning coyote of the month. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, first question is, what made you decide to be a coyote? The movie. I grew up with the movie and it was one of my favorite movies growing up. So how old are you? Because I feel like like some of us don't know about the movie. I was a big fan of the movie and that was kind of what made me want to become one. But how old are you? I'm 29. So I was still I was still pretty young when it came out. Yeah. But I knew I wanted to become a bartender. I was like, those are some cool girls. I want to be one of them. <laughs> So tell me about your Coyote Ugly story. What was your audition like? So I started Coyote Ugly in 2021. We are still in the middle of COVID with the mask mandate. So my process was a little different than most girls. I didn't have the audition like most people have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so what was your background like to help you get the, had you been a bartender before? What was your background like? I've bartended and I was cocktail waitress before. But I also did cheerleading for nine years and then gymnastics for six growing up. So entertainment is, it's like my thing. Would you say that you've changed um, at all since becoming a coyote? If so, how? I'm a lot more comfortable. Like, you know, it could be a bar full of like 300 people and I'm just comfortable. Oh. And that's definitely changed for me because when I first started, I was so nervous in front of crowds and people. And now it's just, it's just like natural for me now. Yeah. Wow. So it kind of brought you out of your show. I mean, you yeah. entertain, but it kind of brought you out of your show in a different kind of way. Mm -hmm. So we talk about like the changes that people have once they become a coyote, but I feel like there was something about Cynthia's spirit or like personality that made you want to become a coyote? What would you say besides the movie? What was that thing that like you felt like, yeah, I could do that? Those girls are funny up there and they're great entertainers and they're just quick on a whim with jokes and everything. I was like, I could do that. My long-term goals, I am currently starting up my real estate, um, my real estate career. Wow. So that would definitely be my long-term goal as I have my face on every for sale sign in the Denver area. And you, so since you said you started in the middle of COVID, you've only kind of been a coyote for like two years. Is that mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. What does being a coyote mean to Cynthia? Having fun every weekend. And then I have such strong friendships with the coyote girls. We're like a sisterhood in the Denver bar. Yeah, I would say that that it it feels this way to me. Like it's everywhere. Like once I connect, like when I meet you guys on Zoom, like I feel like we have a sisterhood too. Like it doesn't yeah. even matter like what bar because we've all been through that, and it's a different type of bartending experience than yeah. like a, another bar. So I feel like we all like kind of connect. It's like we're our own sorority or something. We I've used that term before, actually. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Good. What's your favorite coyote story? I'm sure you have some. Um, traveling. I've traveled to Nashville last summer for the CMAs and that entire week, which is a crazy week, but it was definitely the highlight of my coyote career. Oh, wow. So you're a traveling bartender too with coyote. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. The CMAs are going on this week. Um, I know. In Nashville. Tell me about that experience. Did anything crazy happen while you were there? Just to see the bar like fully packed, like 3, 3 p.m. on a Tuesday and just being very consistent like that through until closing. Like that was crazy for me. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Do you have any crazy stories from the Denver bar? Anything or some um this one's pretty recent we actually had a guy that gave us permission to cut his hair he had this ponytail and we just snipped it right off oh that's fun that's fun <laughs> <laughs> that's fun that sounds like something we used to do so I worked at the Charlotte in Atlanta bar years ago and that was when like we did the penalty shots and would like cut off their ties and yeah you know like 
I felt like that just was like a release. It's weird, like just getting to cut something just <laughs> awkward girls without the ponytail. You need to lose the ponytail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. What are your top five places that someone should visit in Denver? Um, so number one is Coyote Ugly. We're located on 16th Street Mall. We're in the heart of the Denver, downtown Denver area. Two would be go to Red Rocks concert. It is like the best venue in North of America. And it's in the side of a rock formation. And you can see downtown Denver and all of Denver, like lit up at night. It's so pretty. Um, three would be Golden, Colorado. It's a suburb right at the foothills of the mountain. And that's where the Coors Brewery is at. But there's also a lot of microbreweries there. And they're all dog friendly, which is like a, a big plus for me. <laughs> and then four would be Roxboro State Park. I know a lot of people are familiar with Guardian of the Gods, but it's a bit of a drive. And Roxboro State Park is like a mini Guardian of the Gods. And it's only 30 minutes away from downtown Denver. And then five would be St. Mary's Glacier. It's about 40 minutes away into the mountains, but it's it's a super easy hike. And then there's a little pond at the base of the glacier. So you can even hike up with your like inflatable paddle boards and paddle around. And since it's a glacier, it's frozen all year round. So you could go snowboarding in like August and July. So it's wow. Crazy. So it sounds like you're outdoorsy. Yeah. Picking up. Okay. And it's so crazy that you said Red Rock because I just told somebody that is like all my things to do my bucket list because I just want to see like a good concert mm -hmm. out there. I've seen pictures and it's beautiful. Next, I want to know your top favorite things to do in your spare time when you're not um, on the streets. So number one is hiking. My old license plate used to said hike yeah. It was like <laughs> like heck yeah. Yeah. So it's like super nerdy, super nerdy. Um two would be Rock climbing, it's a hobby my parents hate because my dad has a fear of heights, but I also remember wearing my helmet. <laughs> um, three would be hot springs. Even if it's a natural hot springs or they built a resort around it, there's just something about soaking in like nature's hot tub with a cold beer in hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Um, six would be paddle boarding. I just love being on the water. And I have an inflatable paddle board. So I can even like hike with it. It goes on like a backpack. Mm. And then seven would be snowboarding during winter. I have an epic pass and I'm not good at it, but I take shooters on the ski lift with my friends and it gives me liquid courage. And it's just like <laughs> fun being out there and playing in the snow like a little kid. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I want to try snowboarding. I like skiing. I've never snowboarded before, but I would love to to try that. That sounds like a lot of fun. Are yeah, you born and raised in Denver? I'm not. I'm from Missouri and I moved out here because of all these activities. Really? Wow. So how long have you been in Denver? Since 2020, I moved in the middle of COVID. My lease was up and I was like, I'm going to get out of here, small town Missouri and made my way to Denver. Wow. Wow. That is a story to tell. Like, I would love to hear the whole, how that whole process <laughs> yeah. one day. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about you. And again, congratulations on becoming Coyote of the Month. All right. So that concludes our interview with Miss Cynthia. This is Courtney, the illustrious Coyote of the Internet. And that's last call. I'll see you next time on the Coyote Ugly Satellite Bar. Thank you.